Okay. Oh no! 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 I might actually die. Oh no! Uh, actually, wait. What am I doing? Jesse woke up sick still. He actually woke up throwing up in the bed. <laughs> so he's snuggled on the, the big couch, and I'm snuggled on the little couch, and we're watching TV. He fell asleep on the couch. I told him he couldn't watch TV in the living room. Um, so he, I told him to go back in his bedroom and play. Because I'm trying to do get some work done. And he uh, laid in there and fell asleep on the couch. <laughs> I'm sitting here cutting liner material. I, I finished uh, cutting for 21 bags. And I got 25 bags to cut out liners for. I dug out a bunch of blue material that I have. Because a lot of them that I have left to line are blue tones. I'm saving these Christmas ones. Snowflakes and wants to say Merry Christmas for when I get Grinch and Snoopy material maybe this weekend. Cause I think those would go good with those bags. Especially I think the red will go good with Snoopy because there's usually a lot of red and peanut themed things. So um, I'm going to sit here and cut out as much as I can before he wakes up. He woke up this morning throwing up in bed. I'm trying to remember if I filmed already, but I don't think I have. I've been busy. <laughs> um, and he threw up again in the toilet and had an accident on himself while he was throwing up. And but after that, he was pretty fine. I mean, he acts like he doesn't feel well, but he hasn't been throwing up or using the bathroom excessively like he did yesterday. So um, he had a popsicle earlier and a sucker. <laughs> and uh, apple. He wanted apple, so I peeled him one so he wouldn't choke on it. And he ate some of it. And me and Devin both feel not that good. <laughs> so I don't know if we're getting what he's getting or what he has or if we're getting something else. I'm trying to find good lighting. Okay, there we go. <laughs> um, so uh, I woke, when I woke Devin up, I left Jesse here with him in case he needed to throw up or use the bathroom. And I went, I had to run to the post office to drop off a package. And, um, I went to the grocery store and got some grocery things. I got some soup and stuff like that. Just in case me and Devin do start getting sick. Devin already doesn't feel good. I kind of felt bad earlier, but I feel alright now. Just tired. <laughs> and, um, I'm going to try to keep light, easy to eat, and easy to throw up food <laughs> in the house in case any of us do get sick. Uh, it won't be so bad, maybe. But I, a lot of people locally here have just a virus, so, um, I'm not going to worry about taking Jess to the doctor unless he gets worse. Or if he starts getting dehydrated, because there's nothing they can do for a virus anyways. Um, he hasn't been complaining about his throat or anything, so I don't think it's bacterial anything. Um, so he can't even be treated, so there's no point in going to the doctor. Just gotta keep him hydrated and alive. <laughs> and uh, if he gets worse, of course, I'll take him to the doctor. And yeah. What is this here? Tomorrow's Friday. I don't think I need to do anything tomorrow. I'm trying to think. No, I don't think so. So I'm going to sit here and cut some material and then I'm going to go in the living room and probably crochet or something. I don't know. <laughs> I want to try to get these bags cut out and I got to go to Hobby Lobby or Joann's, but Joann's is a lot further away because I need to get some Snoopy Christmas fabric and some Grinch Christmas fabric. And I also need to get some interfacing for all these extra bags because <laughs> right here is all the notion pouches I got cut out so far. I've got to line them, which is what I'm doing right now. I'm working on lining, not lining, but cutting the liner material for the project bags. And then I'm going to do the same thing for the notion pouches. And then I need to um, get the interfacing and then cut it, iron it, and then I can start sewing. <laughs> I'm hoping to get started sewing um, probably Monday if the sickness isn't too bad in the house. And then I'm probably going to sell all next week because this is going to be a lot of bags. Right now I have 46 cut and I'm planning on getting two yards each of Snoopy and Grinch. So that'll be eight more. And then um, I have a few prints over there. I'm thinking about cutting too, but I may save those for the new year. Because there are some bag patterns I want to mess with uh, over my Christmas break when I'm not sewing for an, um, the Etsy shop. I'm just going to do some selfish sewing because I want to um, make some microwave bow cozies for here. I have to get the right kind of um, batting <laughs> because this is polyester so it'll melt. don't want that. Uh, I gotta get 100% cotton. And um, 
some thread because I'm not exactly sure what my thread is. I think it's cotton. But I need to make sure I have all, you know, non-meltable things. <laughs> and I want to work on some different bag designs like I was trying to say when I got sidetracked. There's a few different types of bags I'd like to start putting in the shop. They take a little bit more work so I don't know how I'm going to price them yet. I'll have to uh, make them, get in a groove of making them and then see what, uh, see how much material it takes and how much time it takes and then go from there in the pricing. And um, so I might use some of that material for practicing um, making new bag shapes. Because I love drawstring bags and they are my favorite to make and they'll probably be the majority of what I make even in the future. But there are a few other designs that I'd like to start making and offer like also. But um, drawstring bags will probably still be the number one thing I make just because they're really easy and quick for me to sew. And you know obviously if I start doing interfaced bags and with more zippers or closures it's going to make the prices go up because uh, I had to buy all that stuff to make the bags with. But yeah, I'm going to sit here and cut some more blue material and try to get these project packs lined and take a break. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, today is October the 18th. It's Friday. I had to change the camera around. I had it facing the wrong. It was upside down. Um, the camera was on the bottom, so it's easier from the top. Anyways, today is Friday, October the 18th. I went to Hobby Lobby this morning to get some stuff in Walmart. And, um, didn't record yesterday because me and Jesse both were sick. <laughs> I think it was just a bug. Jesse seems to be perfectly fine today, and I do too. I guess my immune system is probably better than his, so it didn't hit me as hard as it hit him. But, um, so far today we're both good. It is one something, 108. And, uh, I'm going to show you what I bought at Hobby Lobby. And then I got a few, some more material that I got to cut out. I'm almost done cutting all the material for the bags that I have. Um, I still need to get some Snoopy and Grinch material, but I won't have to order it online because I have to pay shipping and all kinds of stuff. And I don't really want to go all the way to Joanne's either. Hobby Lobby doesn't carry character um, holiday prints. I went ahead and looked anyways while I was there today, but they didn't. But I knew they didn't because they never do. <laughs> they have a few character prints in like the regular material, but they don't. They don't do like Joanne's does and have all kinds of character prints for every holiday that comes up. So, but I did have to get some interfacing and some thread and needles, and I got some batting too. Um, what else? And then I got some material for liner. But I'm gonna grab it real fast and show you guys. Okay, what I got at Hobby Lobby was um, I bought some sewing machine needles. I always just get the universal ones because they work for me. <laughs> I haven't actually learned like certain new needles for certain things. Um, I always just get the basic ones and they seem to work for me. And I knew I needed to get more because I'm going to have to make 40 something notion pouches. So I guarantee I'm going to break at least one needle. Um, while doing that. I always accidentally hit a zipper or something the wrong way and break a needle. I have a couple left, but I wanted to get a whole pack um, to make sure I had enough. And then I also got, I just got um, three yards of interfacing for the Notion pouches. I use fusible fleece because I like how squishy it is. Um, I don't like the stiff interfacing for my zip, little zipper bags. I have used it before when I ran out of this kind, but I prefer the squishy kind. But I got three yards of it. That should be enough to do all the bags for this last update this year. If not, I can grab some more. But it's just a big three yard blob. I like getting interfacing at Hobby Lobby. Because you can use the 40% off coupon on interfacing. Because it's not in the 30% off sale for fabric. And I can usually get it at Hobby Lobby cheaper than at Joann's and at Walmart. Because of the coupon. Like that was $23, but it was 40% off. So, um... It was, you know, I paid a little over half for it, so that's, that's awesome. And then also, this is for selfish <laughs> sewing reasons, but I wanted to get 100% cotton uh, batting because I want to make some microwave uh, bow cozies, kind of like Billy makes, or exactly like Billy makes, really, <laughs> um, because I want some for our house here. I thought about making two or four for me, and then with the rest of the batting, I might make some extra ones and see if anyone wanted to buy them on my Etsy shop or something, or I could use them as gifts. I don't know. I haven't figured that out yet. But after I do these bag update I'm going to do some selfish sewing <laughs> over the holidays uh, working on different bag designs and then I want to make some things for here at the house and also maybe to enter into my county fair next year but uh, I got the Pelin wrap and zap and it's microwave safe 100% cotton and what's cool is it is a US product made in the US I don't know if the cotton is sourced from the US but it's made here <laughs> um, 
I don't, you know, if, if you're the kind of person who cares about that, you'd have to look that up. But um, it says that it's microwave safe, you know, and it has a pattern on the back for a potato pouch, which Billy also makes. But I don't think we need that because we don't eat baked potatoes hardly ever. And when I do bake them, it's usually in the oven. But I want to make bow cozies for the microwave and I want to make tortilla, at least one tortilla warmer thingy. Because <laughs> um, Devin would use that. But yeah, so I'm going to make us some and then whatever's left I will sell or gift or whatever. But it's just a yard of, it's so soft too because it's 100% cotton. It smells good. It's just batting. It does say on here that it shrinks so I do need to pre-soak it in hot water for 20 minutes and then dry it. Uh, on low in the dryer or lay it flat to dry. I'll probably do it in the dryer because I have nowhere to lay it flat <laughs> without it getting dirty. Um, so I need to remember to do that before I cut it because I'd hate to cut it and sew it and then wash it and dry it and it get all shriveled up or something because the batting shrinks. But um, I gotta remember to do that. I'm trying to keep this wrapper so that I can remember to do that. And I also keep that pattern because I might want to make it to give to someone. But, um, but yeah. I'm going to be looking up pattern, different patterns to use stuff like that for. So I'm sure there's other things you can make with it. Uh, casserole warmers, it says. But it also says that they have free patterns on their website. So I'll have to go check that out. It's pe pelinprojects.com. Check that out. And then at Walmart, I just got two spools of thread. Oh, trying to reach it. Ah. And it is... I wanted to look. This is, this is polyester thread. So I do need to get some cotton thread. This is a thousand yards together. They're each 500. This will be for the project bags, but I do need to get some cotton thread for when I make the ball cozies. Um, so I got two of them, and then I got a two yard cut of an off white. It's not really white, it's like a cream color, I guess. For I had three bags that I couldn't find matching liners that I already had, so I had to buy just two yards. So I think that's cool. Most of the bags. That are going to be for this next update, this last update. All the Christmas prints and everything was either gifted to me by viewers or gifted to me by my mom. <laughs> so um, that's pretty cool that um, I was able, I'm going to be able to hopefully get extra Christmas money and extra hospital bill money. Ugh, I hate the hospital bill. I feel like we're never going to pay it off. Um, from people, essentially people gifting it to us. So really, because everybody who gifted me material and who will buy the bags you know you're the ones that's going to be helping us pay off the hospital bill and also helping us have a little bit extra money for christmas so that's cool i'm sure jesse will appreciate that <laughs> because you know christmas but yeah so i think it's everything i bought today yeah i didn't i thought about going to joanne's this morning but i was looking on joanne's website and hobby lobby's website and i was comparing prices and it's just cheaper to get interfacing at hobby lobby and it's cheaper to get thread and uh, liner material at Walmart <laughs> and the only thing I needed I really need from Joann's is the other two prints that people asked for which was Snoopy and the Grinch but I don't want to have to drive because it's a 45 minute drive from my house to the nearest Joann's so you know that would that's too much for just to just to get a couple of yards of material and then I looked about ordering it and you have to order it in two yard cuts which is fine I was gonna do that but with the shipping and the all the extra fees and stuff it's just it would have been forty something dollars for four yards of material so I was like yeah no <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is if I can't if we don't end up going close to a Joann's just by doing other stuff in the next couple weeks um, I just probably won't get Snoopy and the Grinch I will I got some regular material over there that I will go ahead and cut you can see Jesse's head right there I think yep he's sitting back there watching TV <laughs> But, um, and I, I still got these. These were the material I was going to use as the liners for the Grinch and the Snoopy. These are about two yards each. This one's a smidge under two yards, but this one is exactly two yards. Um, so I'll just Mommy. maybe make bags out of this. I don't know. I'll figure it out. What? Mama, what? Here. What do you want? I see you. Hey, Mama, you need to come in here. Whoop, you're naked. What? You found Elsa? Yeah, it's right in the middle of these two things. Wow. Oh, I'm not going to push on Elsa. Elsa has a bad word. Elsa's not a bad word. It's a name. But it keeps in white, white, white. It's like those snowballs. 
Okay. I have to remember to edit part of that out because I showed him in his underwear. Bless you. I'm okay. But yeah, so I got my laptop right here. I'm going to watch some YouTube videos and try to get this cutting done. And go from there, I guess, today. Alright, I got 44 sets cut. And then these two don't have Notion pouches. This one and that one. So that'd be 44 sets and then two bags without. And then over here, I have two giraffe sets with nurse pouches and four Hello Kitty. I still have to cut the um, liners for the Hello Kitty. But I finally got all the um, liners cut except the Hello Kitty ones. And then, so next I got to cut the interfacing and iron it all. <laughs> And hopefully get all that down before Monday. Because Monday is when I want to start sewing. I will start on the Notion pouches Monday. Might be able to get most of them done Monday. Because I can get a whole bunch of those done really fast. Uh, assuming I don't break a ton of needles. Whew, I'm tired. That's a lot of art cutting. I found another Christmassy print. It's like a red flannel. But it's got some shiny thread in it. That's enough to make one or two project bags. I may cut that out. But they may not have... Um, Notion pouches. Same with this print that I found. This I got thrift store forever ago, but it's a Sesame Street winter print. I thought that'd be cute. Ugh, I'm so tired of cutting. <laughs> but I got all that cut. I got some fabric over here I got to put up back in my stash. And then I do have these two right here. That will be for liners if I can get around to getting Snoopy and Grinch. If not, I'll probably just cut those into bags themselves. Maybe. I don't know. This is already so many bags. Uh, it's going to be a long time to sew all these. But I wanted my last update this year to be a big one. And it's going to be a big one. There's going to be... Right now, 52 bags. All of them will be sets, but two. And then those won't be sets if I cut them. But these two back here will be if I cut them. So, <laughs> there'll be anywhere from 52 to 60-something bags going up in the shop that day that I update. So, that's a lot. Ugh. Hey, guys. I haven't filmed much at all today. Still a little downtime in recovering. I'm sitting in the living room right now. I got my scrap box in there. I'm about to work on my Jaden Stitches calendar blanket that I've not worked on in a while. I'll come in here so I can talk. Jesse's watching TV in the living room. We went outside and played for a little while and came back inside and started watching TV. I didn't make anything for dinner tonight. We just did sandwiches. I ate a ham sandwich and Jesse's eating a sandwich right now. Yeah, I'm gonna sit down and work. Oh, sorry. <laughs> on my Jaden Stitches blanket because I haven't worked on it in months. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna try to get caught up on it as much as I can. There's some bits I'm not gonna make. Like I don't think I'm gonna make the um, what's it called? The lighthouse because it doesn't look like a lighthouse to me. It kind of looks like a buoy or whatever they're called. So I think I may just admit that and uh, probably do the boat. I'm about to work on the little houses, and then I need to make the tractor and clouds. I think that's all that I'm behind. Because I don't want to make any of the evergreen looking trees. I wish, I wish I had of went with a different theme. Because I already made my grass, you know, bright colors, and um, my sky is blue. I wish I had thought about it and made it like a Christmassy thing. So I made like this sky gray. And um, then I could make a little snow. <laughs> Bloops. And I wish I'd made like the ground um, darker colors, like you know, like dead grass, and uh, then I could put like little snow mounds around the houses. That would have been so cute. And then I could made little Christmas lights for the houses and decorated the trees to look Christmassy. But um, it's already really bright, so I guess if I really want to do that, I can make another one <laughs> next year. Uh, maybe I don't know. I want to get caught up on that blanket, and I want to get caught up on my squares for the unraveled mitten. I am a lot of squares behind on that. I'm trying to think of the last one I did. I think I'm like seven or eight squares behind on it. But I can get caught up because those squares are usually really quick. You can do them really fast, you know. So I'm going to focus on Jada. And then I'm going to get caught up on it. And then I'm going to focus on the Unraveled Mitten. And actually tomorrow is Saturday the 19th. I'm going to film a No Catch Your Name episode at some point. And I'm going to film a video about my whips. Um that's been hibernating because of the craft fair stuff and all that. Um, yeah, 
and then I need to film Knit Crate. I finally got an email back from Knit Crate. They said that it was a mistake that they sent me to because uh, something happened with their machine or something and some a lot of people got two this month, this last month because of uh, labels being printed out twice. But they thanked me for being honest, you know, and telling them instead of just keeping it. And But they told me that I could keep it. <laughs> so now I can finally make my Knit Crate video and it's going to have two giveaways in it. So two winners. One giveaway, two winners. <laughs> so um, one winner will get to the two hanks of green um, October Knit Crate. And one winner will get two hanks of like a creamy color <laughs> um thing so i may try to film all three of those tomorrow devin has to work tomorrow so if i do film all those uh it'll be just around windows of jesse you know not acting like a crazy kid <laughs> being loud and all that in the background um yeah so i'll probably be filming a vlog in between all that and then that I don't have to do anything important tomorrow. I would like to go to the store and get a couple of things. I need to get some bell peppers. Because I was thinking about making some um, fajitas tomorrow. Uh, I don't know if I want to make fajitas or if I want to make beef and broccoli. I don't know. I'll ask Devin. See what he feels like. Because <laughs> I already got beef and broccoli. And I got all, I'm sure I got all the ingredients to make the sauce. Because... We make Asian food all the time, so I always have all those ingredients on hand. But if he wants fajitas, I'll have to go get peppers. Because that's all I need for fajitas. But anyways, um, go get some peppers if I need to. And maybe some other things. I don't know if we need anything. And I gotta go to the post office and check the mail. Because I think my new debit card's there. And uh, from where I ch finally changed my name on my debit card. I'm, I'm waiting for my new debit card and my new driver's license to come. The plastic one. I have the paper one. So, yeah, I'm waiting for that. Do I need to do anything else tomorrow? No. Okay. <laughs> I have some ideas. I was laying in bed last night. Jesse likes to come and lay in bed and play on his tablet when it gets later in the night. And um, so we were laying in here, and I was looking on my phone, and I found some... I was looking for inspiration for pattern designs. And I was looking, at, looking up different topics <laughs> and um, getting inspiration from cartoon images and people's drawings you know just all kinds of you know just looking getting ideas and I, f I have a few saved and written down notes of a couple of amigurumis that I want to try to make soon and one of them I was going to start today but I was busy with Jesse but one of them is a Christmas Christmas themed amigurumi that I want to try to make maybe in the next few weeks I don't know it depends on how long it takes me to sew all those bags <laughs> there are so many bags to sew but um, after I get that big update done, I can just relax for a few months and not even worry about it. But yeah, so let's see here. There's for sure one in my mind that I, I can already see in my mind. I gotta doodle it out. I'm not good at doodling. But I need to sketch it out and um, start working on the shapes that I need to crochet for it. And then there's another one. That's fairly simple. It shouldn't be too hard to crochet. I want to use fuzzy yarn for one of them. <laughs> I got plenty of fuzzy yarn though because I used it for that sheep and then I found a bunch on Hobby Lobby clearance and then someone sent me a whole bunch of it so I got plenty of fuzzy yarn to make patterns with. I went through my yarn today and picked out some for the winners of the Halloween cow which I will be drawing tomorrow sometime and announcing that so that's another video I gotta film. Um, the, the deadline is tonight at midnight so after tonight I will finish putting all the names on my big list. I'm in the 400s now so it's probably going to be around 500 entries in total. And then I'll randomly draw and pick two winners. Yeah. And I'll ha I guess I can I can try to mail those. Well no. I don't know if I'll hear back from them. If I hear back from the people, the winners tomorrow I will mail it tomorrow. But my post office closes at noon. Yeah. It'll be next week. Because I have to film the video and edit it and get it uploaded. That's going to take a while. Anyways, I'm going to go in there and crochet and just relax for a little while. It's 7, I think. 7-ish. I didn't have to cook, so I don't really have to clean too much. I got to get Jesse in the bath because when we, when we went outside, he played in the dirt. <laughs> I tried to get him to take a bath when he first came in, but he didn't want to. So he's watching TV, and then I'll have to hose him off later. <laughs> but I'll see you in a bunch of videos tomorrow. <laughs>